What is up Hollywood stars? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have this very pretty bronzy gold just like beautiful summer goddess look. So if you want to know how to achieve this beautiful look then just keep watching and as always don't forget to shine bright because it's slow Hollywood time. <music> Okay, you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get the super easy and glowy date night sweat proof makeup look. So let's get started with the skin. So I'm going to be using a little bit of this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer um, all over the face. I love the way this smooths out my pores. So I'm mainly going to concentrate this in the center of the face. And you want to make sure you really work it in. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little sample here that I have. This is the Natural Radiance in Yellow from MAC. I love this, this is also a primer, um, and this is, has oil control technology, so it's gonna keep you mattified all day long. And this, I'm gonna concentrate right in the perimeter of the skin, and then work it inwards. By the way, I also already did my skincare, so don't forget to do that. I also really like this primer because not only does it control your oils, but it also gives you a nice luminous finish, radiance. Not like obviously overpowering because it's supposed to control oil, but it just gives you like a nice healthy glow. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution foundation. Um, this one is like bomb. I really, really like it and it keeps me mattified a really long time. So I'm going to be applying this all over. Also I feel like I'm getting a little bit tan so I kind of feel like all of my foundations are a little too light for me but we're going to bronze up and make it work. I'm going to go ahead and blend out the foundation with my JS1 brush. I love this brush. It just gives me like the most beautiful coverage, flawless finish, and it's so fast. Okay, and then for concealer, I'm going to be using this one right here. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Oh my god, I love this concealer. It's the most full coverage concealer you'll ever, ever like meat in your life and I love it because it gives you a really nice mattified finish um, and I feel like it definitely helps with my oils as well so I'm gonna be adding a little bit of this to my under eye slash sides of my nose um, you only need a little bit like a little bit goes a long way and the shade that I'm using is NC 15 um, so it's definitely a little bit light but I definitely like my concealer to be more on the bright side so I'm just going to take a brush like this, um, just like an angled little diffusing brush and I'm just going to start to work the concealer under the eyes. I already see how much brighter the set is compared to that one. I really love this concealer. So next I'm just taking my Morphe times Jeffree little blender. Just to make sure everything is nice and blended, make sure there's no streaks. I'm just taking this all over the skin. I'm next going to take some of my Studio Fix powder. This is an NC25. And I'm just going to take a small brush because it's almost running out. So I'm taking this brush by Real Techniques. Um, this is just their contour brush, but I like how it's small so I can get everywhere. So I'm literally going to grab some of this powder and apply it everywhere on the skin. I'm going to take some of my Huda powder just to bake underneath the eyes a little bit because I want to make sure that this makeup doesn't budge at all. So I'm going to take my little sponge and just apply this to the sides of the nose and underneath the eye. And then I'm going to press it in. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my painterly paint pot. I'm just gonna grab a little bit with my finger and I'm just gonna be applying this right into the lid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer and this is in the shade Rosewood. And I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe R2 brush. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, tap off the excess, and start to just bronze up the skin. I'm gonna take a nice fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna go ahead and dig into that rosewood bronzer one more time and I'm literally going to be applying this right into the crease just so we can warm up the eyes a little bit. See how beautiful that looks? So I love the way this complements each other since we're using the same bronzer. I'm now taking this fluffy pointer brush and we're going to go ahead and diffuse a little bit of this bronzer right underneath the lower lash line. So we're just connecting this end with this end. I'm next going to take some of my Anastasia Times Amrezy highlight. I'm going to take my pointer brush. I already dusted this off and we're going to take some of this highlight and apply it right into the inner corners. So don't be afraid to pack it on. And I'm also going to add a little bit to the brow bone, whatever's left over on the brush. Just kind of blend it out. For blush, we're taking Warm Soul by MAC. I love this blush, it's so, so, so pretty. I'm gonna take my 224 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this highlight and just start to highlight the high points of my cheekbones. I want this to look really, really glowy and really wet looking. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and just do a little bit on the tip of my nose. And a little bit down here in the center of the bridge. So I actually have this other um, mineralized skin finish by MAC. This is called Gold Deposit and it's a really pretty like bronzy color. I'm going to take some of this in my finger and apply this right into the lid. So stunning. So pretty. I'm taking the first fluffy brush we used and I'm just going to make sure there's no harsh lines. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara and I'm going to do my brows off camera and I will be right back. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and I added some eyeliner um, to my waterline and I used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Iced Mocha. I really love this color. It's like a coppery goldish brown color and it's so, so pretty. It really enhances your eye color if you have brown eyes and I'm sure this will look stunning too if you have green eyes but I really love the way it looks. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and I did my brows off camera, I added some mascara, and I also added some lashes. These are by Space Face Lashes, and these are in the style Venus. So for the lips, I'm going to be using this lip pencil by Morphe. This is in the shade Bite Me. It's like a nice brownie color. So I'm just going to line my lips a little bit.
And then I'm going to be using this lip topper. This is the Blink Thing Liquid Lip Topper by MAC and it's in the shade Deliciously Disruptive. And we're just going to finish off the look with a little bit of setting spray. <sighs> so refreshing. Alright you guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed this look. And as always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you loved the way this look came out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!